Devastated Katie Price has revealed her bruised and battered face after claiming she was attacked by a man in her home. In The Sun's exclusive pictures, the reality star's right cheek is heavily swollen and has black and yellow coloring. The mom of five's bottom lip and eye are split and her face appears puffy as she struggles to come to terms with the ordeal. Katie, 43, told us how she fled to her son Harvey's home nearby and called the police before being taken to hospital. She said, I'm devastated. I have told police that I was assaulted, and am in shock that this happened. I ran away after being punched, I ran to Harvey's house who lives nearby, and have now done damage to my feet, which I previously injured. The fight was unprovoked I was sitting there watching television when it happened. I've got a big bruise, my face is all puffy, and I went to hospital. I'm still all dazed. I can't say any more. Blue Circle, read our Katie Price Surgery Live blog for the latest updates. In a statement to The Sun, Essex Police said, We were called by colleagues in the ambulance service to reports of an assault shortly after 1.30 a.m. this morning, Monday 23rd of August. We arrived and found a woman had sustained a facial injury which required hospital treatment. A man was arrested a short time later on suspicion of assault. He remains in custody. In a further statement, Essex police added, Our investigations are continuing at the scene today. Katie last posted on social media on Sunday when she shared an image taken by her fiancé that showed the pair posing with her youngest children Jet, 8, and Bunny, 7. The image was captioned, Family Time with a Heart. Katie underwent major cosmetic surgery in June which included an eye lift and full body liposuction. The recovery process, which she shared on her YouTube channel, was painful and her scars are still healing. Last summer Katie's feet were badly damaged in a freak accident in Turkey when she plunged from a wall, leaving her unable to walk for months. She said the late night dash yesterday has aggravated the injury. How you can get help Women's Aid has this advice for victims and their families. Always keep your phone nearby. Get in touch with charities for help, including the Women's Aid live chat helpline and services such as Support Line. If you are in danger, call 999. Familiarize yourself with the silent solution, where you call 999 and press 55 if you can't safely speak. Always keep some money or a bank card on you, including change in case you need a pay phone or bus fare. If you suspect your partner is about to attack you, try to move towards an exit if you are inside the house and get your phone in case you need to call for help. Avoid the kitchen and garage, where there are likely to be knives or other potential weapons. Avoid rooms where you might become trapped, such as the bathroom. Women's Aid provides a live chat service, available every day from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. or email helpline at womensaid.org.uk. Support line is open Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on 01708-765200. The charity's email support service is open weekdays and weekends during the crisis. Message info at supportline.org.uk. You can also call the Frefone 24-hour National Domestic Abuse Helpline on 0808-2000-247.